Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating nature-inspired watercolours in my studio, which are easy for you to do too. I share all my paintings with you on YouTube and on our website, dianeanton.com, you can find free downloadable sketches for all the videos to help you make the most of your painting journey. And if you'd like a little bit more, we also have channel memberships with loads of perks for you to enjoy. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. Hi everyone, Diane here, welcome to my studio. Hope everyone's well and happy and ready to paint some nice bright flowers today. Um, I have here a little sketch I did earlier today, this morning actually, it's now dry, um, of some Black Eyed Susans and I thought we'd have a go at that. Um, nothing to beat a nice yellow flower, is there? Um, I'm going to use my Meaden paints here, which is a set of tubes. Um, they are not expensive and they are very bright, especially the yellows, which are lovely, and I think they'll do a good job of this. So for this painting, we're going to use um, these ones here, Lemon Yellow Pale Yellow Gamboge and perhaps a touch of orange yellow here. Then the centers are going to be um, burnt umber and um, mixed with a little bit of black. And then we'll use one of the blues mixed with um, one of the yellows for the leaves probably. So I put out some fresh paint in these wells here that I'm going, I know I'm going to use. I haven't bothered to put any purples and things out so I won't be using those. So put that aside. These are really great for children and excellent for things like jelly plate printing, which we're going to do shortly. Jelly plate printing with watercolour. How about that? Something different. Going to use a sheet of Meaden watercolour paper. It's 100% cotton. It's also very inexpensive and I think it's pretty good. It's the same as Bao Hong paper. So that's developed quite a good rep um, reputation recently and people quite like that. So you would find this one to be pretty similar. So I'm going to take a yellow watercolour pencil and to make my life a little bit easier because as, as we've said before, I'm a bit of a, a bit more of a drawing person than a painting person. Uh, so I'm just going to sketch in the outlines of these uh, petals. I hope you can see that, but the idea, my idea here is that um, when these are painted, any lines that uh, I used to uh, get me started will disappear because this is a watercolour pencil. Okay, and I'm just going to indicate the stems like that, and then we'll put the leaves in afterwards. And I'm not going to draw in the heads, so that's that'll probably get me going. And then let's pick up some of this um, yellow, which is called pale yellow, not lem. No, this is gamboge. This is gamboge, and uh, so we'll put that back and I'm going to pick up the pale yellow and let's just drop in some nice brush, uh, brush strokes to give us the petals. There we go. That's better. It's easier to have a little bit of a guideline, I think. And I don't want to make it too dry though, because I'm going to drop in some orange at the top here and hopefully that will blend. And I'm not going to fuss with it too much. Some days you feel like fussing a little bit. Some days you don't. And then we can pick up a little bit of brown mixed with a bit of black. You can paint these very wet if you want, or you can paint them a little bit drier, like I have here. And then you can put the heads in a little bit quicker. And maybe a little bit of brown 
here. Drag that out a little bit. And at this point, I need to move on to the next one before I completely ruin everything I've done, which I probably already have. So let us put in our nice yellow petals and try to keep it easy going. Oh dear, you know, sometimes you have a day, don't you, and nothing seems to go right. And today's one of those days. My my dear husband is working on um, replacing our air conditioning unit at the moment. And oh dear, that's been a tale of woe. We only installed it a couple of years ago and it, no sooner was it installed and a few months later it broke. I won't bore you with that story. And what you probably need here is a uh, butterfly or a dragonfly. That would be a good thing to put in, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm just going to drop in some orange and, and let it do its thingy. Not happy with that at all. Don't like that bit. Let's dab it out a little bit. That's better. It's not quite right. Oh, I just realized what the problem is. I'm hungry. Okay, now let's do the centers. I'm going to mix, like I said, burnt umber with black. And you can do it sort of like that to give a nice uneven uh, thing. And uh, stick some there. I don't think that's the way it's meant to be, but I think this one needs a couple more petals down here. That's okay. And now for the leaves. Now I've just noticed that I've got a nice whoops, dish of uh, paint here with lots of greens in it. So I'm going to pop you out the way. And same, this is the same stuff. This is all maiden. And so I'm going to pick up some of these greens here and mix them with some of the yellow. Come back in and draw in our stems. I'm doing this very, very lightly, very roughly. Just to sort of give you a sense of what you can... Oh, did you know that if you mix black with yellow, you get a very nice dark green? Like that. And did you know that if you've got washing up liquid left in your palette, from having been doing some washi uh, jelly painting, you will get bubbles in your paint. That might turn into something interesting, mightn't it? Okay, so I think I'm going to uh, just stand up for a second and make some of these a bit thicker.
this is some, this is a painting where again um i am feeling that this really would benefit hugely from having a uh, a line addition so i'm probably going to let it dry and then come in with my pen okay so i think all i'm going to do with the pen is i'm just going to just make the heads a little bit more uh, fuzzy like this because having looked at the photo a bit more carefully I can see that they they have a kind of something like that going on so we'll just emphasize that a little bit that kind of thing and uh, don't have to do this and you could sort of bring a little bit of definition to the separate petals out. But as I said, I'm in a bit of a hurry this afternoon. So I'm just going to just do that. I'm not going to do too much and sort of leave it like that. And um, yeah, I mean, some of the, uh, what do you call them, the leaves, could be a little bit more finished. It could put in some veins. And I'm going to leave it up to you to choose how much you do in the way of leaf work. I mean, they have lots of leaves, but sometimes it's better to minimize something just to give a better effect. So a few darker lines coming in there. They'll fade down a little bit when they dry. A little bit of calligraphic work never did anyone any harm. So, has everybody got a stem? Okay, I'm not going to do any more because I think that's enough. So there we are, Bob may or may not be your uncle, but in any case, you painted something today. So what did you paint today? I painted some black-eyed Susans. So I'll let you go. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye everybody. Bye bye.